Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about Delta's Premium Select Cabin. It is the new retrofit Premium Select on the 767-300s. I've never done it. I haven't seen a lot of videos on it. So let's find out. Right, here is the slow walk to the plane. So this is an older plane, but they retrofitted the seats in this plane. And I will tell you, if you are a plus size person, you need to look for this particular plane in the 222 setup, because these are the biggest seat pitches for premium select. So the seat had a lot of charging, a lot of leg room. The recline was really nice being able to put your feet up. There is supposed to be elevated meal service and amenity kits in this cabin. We did not get it on this first flight. We did get it on the way home. I'm gonna add some of those clips at the end so you can see. But that is not the standard amenity kit for this room. Also, the meals that we experienced on both flights were the same as the back. From the website, it looked like it was supposed to be something different. But regardless, I mean, it's still fine. Delta generally has decent food. This was okay, but they've really been stepping up their game lately. One thing to keep in mind, if you are plus size with these seats, definitely get an aisle because once you're in the air, the side that is facing the aisle does come down. The only thing that I found a little annoying about these seats was the buttons are on the inside of the seat. So if you are a little bigger, um, sometimes reaching them or getting them to stick was a little bit difficult. As you can tell, we're into the second part of the footage from the way home. This is what the amenity kits are supposed to be like for premium select. So you have socks in here, toothbrush, toothpaste, eye mask, you know, kind of that in between Delta One and the back. So overall, I'd highly recommend this in the 222 setting. Um, I think I would pay probably up to around 1800 round trip for international. The pillows were great. The food was actually a hair better going home, but I would highly recommend if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time.